Okay, Fernando wanted me to do a video on mental disorders. And I'll include mental disorders, physical um, disabilities, um, any kind of disabilities, really. And that includes being born in a really poor uh, part of town under very difficult circumstances. Um, homosexuality for the last couple um, decades uh, it's been very difficult um, having a death of a child or very or very young having a death of a parent any of those things that are all listed in those categories the person who has that issue wanted to have a very specific experience in this vibrational time usually people who who are born under those uh, difficulties and that is the exception to star seeds that were switched at birth okay except for those most of those other um, situations those are humans that have been doing this a long time and they are looking at different perspectives how to focus on a different from a different perspective of the third dimension now in fourth dimension a lot of those things can be cured and fixed so they no longer apply so in order to see things through those eyes from that it's just all about perspective guys those are very very unique specific uh, perspectives and a lot of them are perspectives that cannot be changed they cannot be interfered with if you are uh, blind at birth and there is no surgery for it then that cannot be interfered with so as an entity coming into that body you have done that on purpose so that you can look at things through another perspective uh, that could be true let's say uh, a, a being came in and they wanted to have a regular perspective and then it to change suddenly so they can see the contrast in the perspectives so that could be a life where somebody is born with sight and then lose their sight somewhere down the road depending upon where what kind of perspective change they wanted to to have all of these things that you call disabilities or disadvantages when you look at it from the perspective of that creator god being outside of time space knowing what they want and what kind of perspective what kind of life they want um, all of that is pre-planned from the perspective of outside of time space now the difference is that they will do it from a vibrational standpoint the creator will say I want this kind of vibrational experience then you get down into 3d and you're born and between the universe and your higher self guiding for those things that you can't control and those things that you control day to day from your from this part of you exactly how that perspective is dealt with and obtained and and how that perspective is looked at those are what is not preordained that is stuff that you choose moment to moment day to day so it's more like okay the the creator yourself going into your creator god goes into i want this perspective and i don't know how this is going to turn out i don't know how this is going to play out i don't know how i'm going to react to this perspective but i want to go into this perspective and see what will happen so going into that perspective is preordained you preordained it not somebody else you preordained it and then exactly how you play with it manipulate it whether or not you decide that you did have sight and then you don't have sight and you go to into a deep depression and never come out of it that is a creationary process that is uh, important to the whole or if you are sighted and then you lost your sight and it you, you just barely you recovered from it you chose to look at things from a different way and you went on with your life with a little bit of tweaks here and a little bit of tweaks there and it didn't hardly slow you down or anything in between how you, how you deal with it all of it is important all of its looked for and all of it is wanted in the whole it is not better for you to be sighted and unsighted and then to go into depression and uh, not come out that is not worse 
than somebody who is sighted and unsighted who figures out how to just go around and keep on going. Both of those are important. Both of those are important. There is not one way that is better than the other way. All ways are important, and each individual creator will do it their own way, their own specific way. That path is unique to you. That's what makes you so important. That's what makes your stitch in this game very, very important. But you must love what you've done. You must love where you're going. You must remember who you are if you're listening to me and going to 5D. If you're not, that's fine. That's fine. Like I said, both ways are important. Neither one is better. My way is not better than anybody else's. You will never hear me say, come my way and be an ascended master. You will be enlightened by my way. No, I say this is my trip, like you've heard me to say. Here we're in Kansas. I'm going to Alaska, and this is the way I go. This is the way I've gone. I like it. I'm going this way again. But you don't have to go here. You don't have to even go to Alaska to be right. Your way is fine. Go your way. If you don't want to go to Alaska, don't go to Alaska. If you want to go part of the way I go and then you go, ah, eh, no, I don't like it. I'm going to go over this way and do this. Fantastic. Fantastic. Whether we're talking or not, I love you all. And my love goes to every being everywhere all the time. Because I know this. I know that all of those perspectives, all of those ways are adding to the whole and they're all magnificent every single one of them. I am just one little tiny path, one little tiny option. And all I do is I give you my option, I give you my path, I show you my story to trigger you to be more self-confident about trusting yourself that you have a path that is unique to you. And maybe my path will help you get more firmly on your path Maybe we'll walk side by side. Maybe we don't. Maybe we'll be a mile away and scream at each other and go, hi. Does it matter? Does it matter? Your way is awesome to you, and you cannot mess it up. No one can mess it up. Hear me now. You cannot screw it up. It is impossible to screw it up. You can't do it. Your way is always right. You can't screw it up. You may feel like it, according to society, according to your feeling bad but ultimately when you get out of this and you look back you cannot screw it up it will be beautiful no matter what you've done no matter who you are no matter where you're going you cannot screw it up you cannot screw it up I just want you to know because I don't like you to hurt I have felt your pain I don't want you to hurt so I'm just telling you my way this is how much it's less painful but hey it's not mine to judge which way you go Understand that. It's not mine to judge. You cannot mess it up. All right? All right? If you believe nothing else that I say, believe that. You cannot mess it up. It's impossible to do. You've got too much support. Too much is happening around you. You just don't know right now how those things that were bad will work to your advantage. Will be In the big picture, they will be magnificent. You just don't know that yet. But you will. I promise you will. And it will be magnificent. You will see. You will see. You cannot mess it up. Cannot mess it up. All right? All right. Big hugs to you guys. Love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.